Imagine you've been hard at work for months developing a brand new product. You're excited and eager to share about it, so you post details on social media. But then a competitor sees your post and copies the product's coolest features. Because you shared information that should have been confidential, your company loses out, and you may need to find a new job. It's not always easy to know where confidentiality begins. For example, how much can you reveal publicly about a new product before its launch? Is there a way to generate excitement without giving too much away? And what other kinds of information should you worry about disclosing? In short, what kind of workplace information needs to stay confidential? The three types of confidential information in the workplace can be divided by who owns or is impacted by the information. Employee data includes personal information like social security numbers bank account details, marital status, employment contracts, and medical history. Business data includes information the company owns. This includes revenue, marketing strategies, internal policies, and intellectual property. And customer data is anything customers or clients provide, like payment details and personal information, including their date of birth and home address. So, why is it important to keep this information confidential? For starters, when sensitive data ends up in the wrong hands, a lot can go wrong. Personal information belonging to employees and customers, like credit card and social security numbers, can be used to steal money or even someone's identity. The reputation of a company that fails to secure confidential information could suffer as well, and the value of its intellectual property could decline. The company could also be held legally liable for data breaches. So, how do we protect confidential information? First, don't share information on public Wi-Fi. Public networks are not well protected, which makes them easy to hack. So, if you work from cafes or other public spaces, don't access or share confidential information while in those places. Use a company VPN, also known as a virtual private network, or wait until you can use a private network in your home or office. Second, encrypt data when possible. Use email and cloud services with built-in protective measures, or password protect confidential documents. Third, limit access to information. Having fewer people with access minimizes the risk of a breach, so make sure only people who need it can access it. Next, default to confidentiality. It's not always clear if information is confidential. Label physical documents and be explicit if digital information needs to stay confidential. Finally, ask for permission. Whether the information belongs to an employee, customer, or company, it shouldn't be shared without explicit consent. It's always a good idea to double-check, even if you think you have permission. When confidential information gets in the wrong hands, it can negatively impact a company, its employees, and its customers. Everyone can take steps to protect sensitive information at work. By making sure confidential information stays secure, you can keep valuable information safe from theft and misuse.